Hello everyone, I welcome you all to a new video, in this video, we are going to tackle an Android vulnerable box from Vulnhub by searching from the search bar. If you're not yet familiar with Vulnhub, then watch my previous videos from the playlist. Click the i button to watch them. The box I will be writing up from the result is Android 4. From here, we have to download the OVA mirror file. The settings up are quite easy, and it is similar to the past videos. Open VirtualBox. Click on Import and browse the file from the download directory. On completion, check if the network adapter is set to host only adapter or not. Once you are done with the settings up, let's start the instance VMs. The instance is ready, and we have got a UI that asks us to input a password. Our task will be to find the flag, and also will unlock the password screen. Enumeration the instances are ready and we are on Kali Linux. Let's find out the IP address by using netdiscover. Type netdiscover-i, and then specify the network adapter name that is ETH1. We have discovered an IP address, so let's perform a network scan to detect what ports are open which is already known as an essential part of the enumeration process. This offers us the opportunity to better understand the attacking surface and design targeted attacks. As in most cases, we are going to use the famous nmap tool. Where hyphen sc performs a script scan using the default set of scripts. Hyphen sv enables version detection which will detect what versions are running on what port. From the network scan, we have spotted two open ports. Among them, port 5555 TCP seems to be like a FreeCiv gaming protocol. Port 8080 TCP runs an HTTP service, which indicates that there might be a website running. To look at the contents ourselves, we can open a web browser of our choice and navigate to the target's IP address along with the port 8080 in the URL bar at the top of the window. Foothold Anyone would establish that there is some kind of verbal tampering involved in using the post method. We tried but didn't find anything useful. This seems to be like an information page. Let's brute force the directory and URL using GoBuster. We found nothing from the result. From the nmap result, we have discovered port 5555 is in an open state. After analyzing, I confirmed that the Android device might be connected through the ADB command line utility. If you don't know what is it, then watch this video now by clicking the I button. Firstly open a terminal and check if their ADB command line utility is already installed or not. If not then type Y to install it. On installation, you can run again help command to read useful commands for this operation. Type ADB connect, specify the target IP and specify the port to get connect the Android device through the network. On successful execution, you can list the connected devices using ADB devices. As you can see, we have successfully managed to get into the server.
To get interaction with the shell, use the ADB shell command, where you can perform Linux commands to get the flag. Privilege Escalation From the output of the ADB shell command, we have successfully managed to get a shell that seems to be like a normal user account. To switch the user to super user access then run the su command. We have successfully managed to escalate to the highest privilege. You can find the root flag to complete the challenge. Congratulations! We have successfully exploited Vulnhub VMs. Let's see if we could remove the lock screen password using ADB. So firstly change the directory to the previous directory, which is a data directory. From here change the directory to the system, and list all files and directories. The keys are stored within the file which contains a .key extension. You can decode these hashes using various password cracking tools. But I am going to remove them all. Now the key files are removed. Reboot the device to see the magic. We have successfully managed to bypass the lock screen. If you have any doubts or queries related to my video then write me a comment in my comment section.